Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're doing a fun one. We're going to be stopping a bloom spawn spreader, and uh, we have a crazy executioner's halberd now that gives us like mega, mega bonus AP when uh, executing people, which is fun. We also have Gavin Crow who's with us. Uh, I love the banner, I love the sword, all very fun. You know, the goodest of boys. We got a cape too. I think more more of our guys need a cape. What have you got to do to get a cape? In 40k, is it is it a rank or is it just a style choice? <laughs> anyway, uh, everyone should get capes; they all deserve it. Uh, so we have Han, Storm, Crow, and Thule, which I think would should hopefully be enough. We got stratagems as well. I think I might turn off the crit one and give Quicksilver a go here. I think the extra AP will be more beneficial. Um, in this, because we just need to destroy stuff in the Bloom Spreader missions. Um, it's kind of like the the other Bloom Spawn missions or whatever. You just have to destroy the thing and you can get out of there. I think. I think that's the case, if I remember correctly. I do so few of these. Um, they crop up so rarely. So yeah, we'll do this. And it'll be great. And uh, yeah. Prognosticas augured an imminent threat below. I can sense it already. The bloomspawn here has grown and is ready to expel its seeds. We must act quickly. All right, so. Um, so I never do these missions. Like I said, they never seem to crop up, so I have no idea what the hell's going on here. Uh, where are we going? So there's one over there and one over here, is it? Yeah, apparently so. That's the spreader, that's the bloomspawn. Uh, so if you destroyed the bloomspawn, I'm pretty sure it lowers the health of the spreader. Am I remembering that rightly? Maybe. So we don't have many turns, but we destroy these little rift things. Um, it slows things down. Kind of like the bomb missions in XCOM. Which uh, I think is rather cool. So we're going to run straight for that. And I'll just hope I don't bump into anybody. It seems that... It seems that we didn't bump into anybody. Um, do I want to go over there? Standing ready. And do that one. There's another one over there too. Um, there'll be loads. We've still got plenty of time. Okay, so we have Voldren Storm. Alright, let's move you over here. Thule. Ooh, crap, he's gonna go to the right. Ooh, don't spot anything. Thank you. Yeah, I know what a bloom vein is. I just interacted with one, silly. So you can see we've got nine turns. But yeah, I was going to put it up by one every time. So, uh, I mean, I could just run out and get spotted at this point, actually. Oh, so let's have a look at Garen Crow's uh, fun abilities, shall we? So he's got Hammer Hand, which is amazing. Love getting those crits. He's also got Rend the Unclean, uh, which is a fun little uh, swings his sword around. It's a thing that the Jester Cars can get. He has Imperium Domination. Activate to reduce a warp surge by 50%. I mean, that's pretty wild. Got a couple of willpower for him, though. Uh, cleansing Flame is a blast that does... Okay, can set people on fire for infinite number of turns, which is kind of wild. In fact, that's sort of amazing for this sort of mission, although we are on a time limit. Uh, so maybe it's not, actually. Great for, you know, bloom spawn missions, I suppose. We could just nuke the enemy positions with that, they just sort of burn to death as we waste time um, ending turns and uh, lowering the warp surge meter, so we don't care about that either. He also has crushing charge, so knock back, um, a nice charge, obviously it'll get him really into the thick of things. Um, plus one stun as well. Immune to hazards, so he can let you run through this stuff, and you don't have to worry about it, that's really fun too. Uh, crack grenade and a psych out grenade as well, so we can silence enemies. And uh, we can destroy armor. It's great stuff. Like, he's, he's good. He's got a good toolbox. For sure. Uh, if I go there, will that be close enough? Mm, he might not see him. There you are. Go get him, crow. Really? That wasn't... Oh, okay, fine. Be that way. Uh, it's alright. Storm could run out. 
Hello there. Silver Have we seen one of these uh, Plague Bearer um, sorcerers yet? I mean, yeah, I'm quite used to seeing them just broadly in this game, but I don't think we've seen them in this campaign yet, have we? So let's take a look. Uh, so he's got Plague Belcher, that's fun. Um, so you, 30 health. Uh, ranged attacks are going to be lowered here, which is uh, fun. Love the big fly eyes, very creepy. His attacks drain, so that'll lower our willpower if he attacks us. Uh, he has Stream of Corruption, which is an arc, range 7, 3 damage, afflicts random effects, and uh, all allies caught in it heal. It also causes drain and ignores half cover. He has a Bale Sword, 6 damage and drains. Um, demonic Icon, blast area to mutate all allies, which is what he just did. Foul Conduit. When the plague ridden is attacked, has 100% chance to cause warp surge plus 10. Wow, so you're attacking once per turn. Yeah, once per turn, it's going to put that up by 10 per turn, which is pretty pretty insane. Although this hasn't gone up at all yet, because we're still in the first turn, which is nice. Unleash me. Unleash me. Uh, yeah, love to. So how expensive is this? Two willpower. I mean, that's not too bad. You know, it's pretty good. I kind of want to hit all of them with it, though. I'm not sure why. I mean, Cleansing Frame would be good. Frame. Cleansing Flame would be good. Because it has Purge, and they have a lot of mutations, including extra resistance, though. Not him, though. Plus 100% resistance. Yeah, there's just no point, then. Never mind. I mean, it sets them on fire, sure. Ooh, I don't know. Not sure. Silencing might be fun. I just want him to do a lot of exciting things. Uh, also, he can do 5 damage uh, with plus 25% crit chance. Which is quite good, actually. And if he cybolts, it's uh, plus 2 stun. Oh, that's pretty cool. I quite like that. You want to try and set up an execution on this guy, then? He has quite high stun meter. We can put him down to 8 in one attack. We'll get another attack as well, but we need we need one AP to actually get the execution. Uh, oh, I need to climb up there to hit him as well, don't I? So full strike is going to be... Yeah, nothing here. This just has armor pierce, which is pretty amazing actually. He's got armor pierce on a full strike, but no, we'd have to just keep shooting that guy for the extra stun. He's two stun per hit, so that's quite good. Alright, what about this guy, though? He's only got six, but we might kill him before we could actually stun him. Yeah, I think we'd probably kill him, too, right? Actually, we need to just shoot him twice. Because this does two stun anyway, does it? Or does he have seven stun? Yeah, seven stun. Okay. Uh, I think we can stun him, though. I need him not to shoot him, though. Because he'll do an extra 5 damage, and then that will kill him. So we won't be able to get the stun with Voldred nearby, because Voldred is too good, and that's really quite annoying. Not really sure what to do about that. Crap. Okay, fine. Just gonna shoot this guy. Okay, good. Let's go for the warp meter up. Cybolt again. I just remember my last chance to do that. And I need to hit him another few times. At your service. Grr. Alright, do you do good stun? I forget. Oh, really? That can't reach? Unbelievable. Uh, no, this does no stun. So, yeah. It's not going to help. But I will make a good follow up. Uh, so, I guess you can run in as well? I wonder. I know I'm working quite hard just to get a stun, even though it's just going to be one extra AP. Which is <laughs> a bit rubbish. But, like, I feel it's important. 
God, we can only shoot him once. It's really quite pathetic. All right, come on. We're going to end up killing him before we can get him, aren't we? Is your will? It's fine. Come another Cybolt. It's only going down to three. Okay, now if I attack... I'm not going to have enough AP, am I? Unleash me! Your orders? I mean, I could teleport. To save myself some hassle there. Does this do any stun? No. Alright, we're going to teleport. We're going to get some AP back from it, because we're amazing. Nice. Good. Uh, and then we're going to stab this guy. If we force strike, it'll work out better. We do plus one stun. Brilliant. Okay, we managed to stun him. And we just got one AP back from that, so we're still on three AP. And now, we're going to get the crit, okay? So we'll see how much AP we end up with. So, execute. Oh, that was brutal. Fall, He's now on 5 AP. And everyone else has plus Praise 1. It's pretty great. It's pretty damn Spelling good, actually. Ready. That's pretty amazing. I mean, 5 AP is absurd. We have a chance to get crits on this guy, too. See? Uh, save his melee weapon. Alright, one more hit on him. Amazing. For the golden throne. Okay, I suppose you need to get some willpower back, don't you? Ideally. You won't be able to get the kill, though. I <laughs> could use crushing charge. No, we're, we're good, I think. I am here to serve. So, two more attacks. Oh, we got auto resurrect on that guy as well. We need to do something about that. So, we could force strike. If I get the crit, maybe get plus one stun. Still won't be enough. Be we'll just attack him. Plus one stun. All right then. Uh, yeah. Bloom seed excised. Plus one stun. Oh my god. Yeah, we actually could have stunned him. It wouldn't have really mattered, mind you, but um, we could have. So we can't do anything here, sadly. I love the effects on the, the sword, My it's very cool. But yeah, we can actually... Um, that's very sad, I was hoping to, to bop him. Seeking but no, we'll just run up behind him and fill him full of... Psychic bullets, I guess? But yeah, that plus three AP <laughs> is obscene, I love it. Let's grab that. Uh, you can get rid of him. No auto resurrect for you. Excellent. So we're still technically on the first turn, which is wild. Uh, so, are we going to jump on top of that bloom spreader? Uh, I could get on top of it pretty quickly if I use the gate of infinity, but I think we probably want to save that for the next bunch, right? Okay, good. He's going to be able to get in range, I think. What is your... Uh, I'll worry about standing there. I'll stand here. I think Crow is going to take the lead. Your orders? All right, you're going to teleport in, take so... Oh, we spotted him. It's a thingamajig. Speculant Nalmor, that's the one. You know, I one thing I really want to get, um, now that I've got like a nice Grey Knight's army, is I actually want to buy a Feculent Nalmor, because you can actually buy the model of this thing. And I want to get a Noctilith crown, so I can just, you know, make a, make a little diorama or something, you know? It'd be lovely to have those features. Okay, let's have... So did we activate this guy or not? Can't actually tell. And god, he has to like... Oh, we can go there into full cover. That's not a bad idea. 
So he can do that, I suppose. Oh, and we can't cross this bit for some reason. Okay, this isn't a container you can enter for some reason. That's very weird. So you can't walk over that. That's highly unusual. Alright, jump through that window then. Okay, so it's it's just hanging out then. Okay. My blade is yours. It's a bit weird. Oh, hang on. You can't reach from there. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So I have to stand out in the open. Which I guess is fine. Can this thing do anything? Uh, area six. Doesn't have a range. Oh, because it's around itself, isn't it? Yeah, okay, fine. I guess we're just going to shoot it from a distance. Weird. Yeah, very odd seeing this thing just, like, loitering. I might get a crit, might not. Oh, we got a crit. And we got eight people in the, uh, as a reward for doing it. I think that was another crit, too. Nice. Uh. Okay, at least I'm going to go down to 1 AP again. Ugh. Oops. Uh, you're going to stand over there. No, no, there. Alright, now if I can just get him in range, we'll be able to get another 10 damage in. Which is amazing. I love that we have that. Uh, that calls bleed, but I don't think we necessarily need to do that, do we? Let me do another 8 damage. You used all your AP. Uh, I can use Disruptor Skull. Use a couple of them. Oh, crap. No one else can shoot. Oh, I should have moved him up sooner. Oh, it's fine. The guy can't hit me anyway. This would be nice to finish this little fight. You know, kill that guy. Why didn't you shoot? What? Why didn't you fire? You had support fire. You're in range. I guess just like... Because some of it isn't in range, it decided that that wasn't going to happen. I don't know, it's a bit weird. Alright, just shoot it then, I suppose. That's a damage, whatever. It would have been nice to have killed this thing, and then got like a, you know, another roll of AP so he didn't go through a turn yet. So... Okay, now it's saying that he will shoot, though. That's really weird. Yeah, so look, now it's activated support fire, but it didn't the last time we shot, even though in the exact same positions. That is highly unusual. Uh, well, you still got ammo, so screw it, let's shoot again. That's so weird. So weird. It's also weird that this tree is on its own. That I find really strange. Alright, well, crow attacking is a bit of a waste. Praise the Emperor. Uh, I guess I'll have Thul finish killing it. Has how much health? Six. Alright. If I can get here and attack twice, we're fine. Oh, I might just crit, in fact. And I crit. Nice. Uh, so there's a few bits kicking around here. So we get some seeds. Hopefully, they're not green ones. Hopefully they're a good... A good new colour that we haven't encountered yet. Alright, so we're going to grab that. Brilliant. Uh, you can move up further. I can't quite reach that, though. Can't quite reach that. Can I jump through the window? No, seemingly I can't jump through the window, but I can go out this way and I'll be right on top of it, basically. Then we can use Gate of Infinity. So yeah, it should be a fairly straightforward mission, I think. Okay, go grab that. And green ones. Shame. Shame. I was hoping we might get some other seeds that way, but no. No, not allowed. Oh, there's a patrol there. That is a pity. That's going to slow us down a little bit. Oh, although I can jump out this window. I don't think they'll see me. If I do that. So actually... 
could kick off with a teleport. Or not. Oh, I can teleport to there. With alacrity. Well. And there's some things to throw as well. That's fun. Uh, okay, so we're going to run over here. Hello there. We heard you coming. Oh wow. It's a lot of folks. Reached. Converging enemies detected. We cannot let it pollinate nearby systems. It must be stopped now. Okay. Oh no. See so, yeah, every turn they're gonna send uh, enemies in. Uh oh, it's one of those rifts again. That's fine. I think there's a lot of those. But yeah, there's a lot of um, stuff we can hoof at the enemy, which is pretty funny. We can probably do a fair bit of damage to all these cultists. It's actually a little bit sad. I kind of want to start hoofing these. Because I reckon we could kill a lot of these guys. But yeah, we do need to deal with, um, with this thing. It's alright. Gates of Infinity... Go right on top, I suppose. Hello there. Marvellous. So, we are going to start with... I mean, Sanctified Kill Zone would be pretty great on this thing. It doesn't look like it can do anything about that. So, Sanctified Kill Zone. Uh, I will try and get... Yeah, I can get all of those in it. Perfect. Because there's a major... Yeah, I'm calling him a mage. It's whatever. He's a space wizard. I don't care. So he's a mage. Um, the bell boy. That guy's mutated some tentacles. Don't know what that means just yet. But he's got a heavy stubber. So this is most of their best stuff is in here. So let's see how that does. Oh, he's immune to it. Didn't say he was immune to it. That's cheeky. All right, fine. Let's blast it. Uh, no point warp charging. Oh, we get a plus two damage, and it's already plus a lot of damage with the crit. Like, a lot of damage with the crit, so. Very nice. And because he got a crit, he got more AP. Perfect. And I could Psychic Onslaught. In fact, I might Psychic Onslaught like there, so I can kill basically everything. He's immune to Psychic abilities. Not for long. <laughs> Not for long. Marvellous. Uh, I might also kill him, actually. I may have to kill him. Oh, I can walk around. That will be 2 AP, though, to do that. So I'm better attacking that guy than attacking that guy. Though I do want that to be an anchor for my Psychic Onslaught, don't I? I'd use him, maybe? That's probably a better anchor. Okay, never mind. So, and kill him. Alright, now I'm going to attack him. Because if I full strike, I can ignore armor. I just have him dead. We don't have to care about him. Brilliant. My blade is okay, so this thing does not have much health left, but it does have a bit of health left. So, that will kill another three. And almost kill that guy. Which is pretty great. Now we did damage the tree as well, doing that, so. Uh, now we have... Yes, Commander. Well, four AP left. We do have the Disruptor Skulls as well. So, guess I could Cybolt for the extra damage. We'll do five. Then we need to do three damage to this thing. No, oh, I didn't mean to bleed. All right, there we go. And do I want to finish that off with something else? Let's see, hammer hand on this guy so we can get those seeds out of him. No point letting them go to waste. Do we get the extra AP? Yes, we do, which is just marvelous. And I can hoof this at them if I want. Hmm. Oh, jeez, there's only two enemies left. Okay, brilliant. Now they're all going to die. Oh, no, he's not going to die. Oh, no way. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, and our apothecary's done, is he? Oh, no, he's not. So I could use Disruptor Skull on each of these. I want to kill everything with a teleport strike. Nice. 
I'm amazed we've wiped everyone out here, actually. I kind of thought there were more enemies. You know, I thought, eh, I'll kill some, just like bonus kills as I kill the big blob. But no, we've cleared house. It's pretty funny. Boom. Another vile edifice of corruption falls. Well done, Commander. Nailed it. Wow, that was a quick mission. I mean, the Bloom Spreader ones are supposed to be quite... Yeah, they're quite hefty missions. Uh, no, no, the real straightforward, apparently. Also, I'm trying to think how many times we hit end turn. I think we technically only passed, like, two turns. In that whole battle. Thanks for all the AP reimbursements from, like, wiping out pods so quickly. Um, and getting to the next one so quickly. So we've got six of the blue ones, another five green. That's nice. We've got uh, four more requisition, back up to 16. We've got a grimoire and potentially some very good equipment. Oh, also, we put corruption here down by one and we stopped it spreading to the rest, which is, you know, another one less for three more places, I think. Which is pretty great. Uh, so we have a weeping blade. We could get a plus 40% crit chance. That's kind of insane, especially because we're stacking crits anyway. Uh, and also, this stacks crits already. That's 30% crit chance and extra crit damage. Okay, we're taking the Weeping Blade, definitely. This one, we can have four armor, three extra willpower. The knight doesn't increase warp surge when using psychic abilities. Plus four crit damage on the melee attacks. Yes, please. Uh, this is all really good stuff. And a purgatus is always fun. Uh, this is, again, with the crits here, uh, extra ammo on this one. We can have eight ammunition in this weapon. That's a lot of ammunition. So plus one damage, so we can put it up to six damage. I mean, five is okay, but just having that much ammo is nice. But extra 25% chance to crit, an extra two crit damage, that's really good too. So I think we'll grab that. Are we grabbing everything? I think we might be. This is only tier two armor, but the warp suppression is really handy. Um, you can give this to, like, librarians and things, and they can just be blasting warp stuff. Um, and the extra three willpower is useful. And four armor is really high. Like, that's really good armor. And it's only tier two, but... Ooh, do we really need it, though? Because we will have to upgrade it for it to be, like, significantly better than... Nah, we're taking it. We're taking it. We're spending basically all our requisition. We're getting offered such good stuff. Um, I'd rather take the good items that we're being offered now rather than getting a higher chance to get offered good items later because they're here now, you know? So that's pretty great, but this is lovely. This is great. The plus four crit damage for melee attacks is just stunning, and all of this crit stuff is huge. I mean, it's only four damage on the Weeping Blade, though, which is interesting, actually. So it's basically all in the crits. But that's fine if you're giving it to an interceptor, right? So we give that to our interceptor. Um, we have that other armor that has extra equipment slots, right? So we can give this and the other crit uh, book to put up crit chance and crit damage. And then we're doing... So that'll be two, six, seven, eight, bonus damage without any skill points being taken into account, without any, any abilities, you know? Which I think uh, I think we're getting another like plus two there, so I think we'll be doing sorry that one. So we're doing fourteen damage a hit with pretty much guaranteed chances to crit um, with all of those things upgraded, and the fact that it's only one willpower to use force strike to basically guarantee the crit is great because usually a guaranteed crit costs you two willpower. So pretty wild. Yeah, it's all pretty impressive. No one leveled up, though. Oh. Right. So we can't reach anywhere else, sadly. That is a pity. Warp Storm over here. Uh, so I feel like we need to be over here, because we're going to have pretty tough missions on our hands. Uh, do we want to go fight this spaceship? Do we want to fight the ship? Maybe. Maybe I do. I might try and go around it, though. Though it might just turn that way, so I don't know. Maybe we'll just go for the ship. We'll probably take one damage, though. But it's a good excuse to start getting, um... Let's see, it's got two more days. I can wait two days before I move, then. Um, where is it? Here, we get better gun batteries, avoid, uh, void shields. 
I mean, this just puts up our max health, basically. Uh, which means that when we build this thing, we repair the hull. Um, that does it maximum, you know, to maximum health. But we can take more hits before we need to repair again. It's always going to cost the same to repair. So that just sort of delays the amount that we need to be repairing. Uh, the gun batteries will help us destroy stuff um, before it can take us out, though. So that negates uh, taking damage, basically. So it's all good stuff. Well, this guy's gonna go. So the Libris Malleus one has been done. The scriptorium array is now functional, so the Cotitate Thralls can service the Inquisitor's book requests much faster. It is curious the Edict is primarily a warship, a tool to deliver its payload of Astartes, and yet, with the Inquisitor's private collection now on board, we have assembled a greater strove of knowledge for sectors around. So plus 30% uh, research speed from Grimoire instead of plus 20. I mean, we have eight now, so it's... Um, Pretty bonkers. How quickly can we repair, like, repair, research some of this stuff? So that we can research. Uh, that makes bloom seed stuff cheaper. Uh, we still can't get the plus one seeds on extraction, which is so annoying. We need the red ones. It's the only mission we haven't done yet. So annoying. Yeah, making all this stuff cheaper would be good, though. Is that what we're doing next? Probably, right? Although the warp surge per turn. You know, the warp surge reduction for prognostic cars is quite nice too. All knights recover three willpower is rather nice. Plus three armor for five turns is really impressive too. Yeah, some really good stuff here. Precision bombard. <laughs> it's just a blast from space, which is great. But area four, six damage and knockback. I feel like just giving two more AP to any of our guys will achieve far more damage than that. You know? Wait, that's still going? What? Didn't I just... Didn't I just finish research? Nope, now I have. Okay, wait, what did we just do then? Okay, fine. I've been studying the... Was it building? Did we just build something? Yes, of course, that was a building. It wasn't research that research. Okay, no, sorry guys. I'm having an elderly moment. So, I have been studying the necrosis strain. Its rot is spread by the most numerous of Nurgle's allies, the fly. They seek out the target's eyes, feeding off the liquid surface while depositing their spores within. Soon everything the victim sees is tainted by decay, and they become an evangelist for the fly lord's truth. Yet we shall cleanse the necrosis seeds in our faith for the Emperor, and create powerful purity seals to carry into battle. Alright, now we can do the other stuff. So, I guess I'll just do that. Let's we'll go through all of these. And let's get some buildings going. So we still have 30 servitors. Uh, I could put up research speed even more. Oh, hang on, I want to check this. So how long is that going to take? So only, is that 10 days or 18 days? I can never really tell. Um, I think it's 10 days, which is ruddy fast. Okay, so let's go with the gun batteries now. And of course we can repair the Dreadnought as well. Oh no, 100% experience gain for the Dreadnought. That's pretty wild. I might do that. I might do that next. I think that'll be our next one. It's 10 servitors, which is, you know, a fair bit, but... Um, this would allow our Dreadnoughts to level up nice and quickly. And they do need to level up quickly. Like, they really do. Because they don't have a lot of abilities. And they can get very good. At least they seem to be able to get very good. Oh, he's going to move over here, is he? And yeah, I know we're going to miss this. It's whatever. Four new missions. Not on any of these fat ones, though. That's so weird. Alright, this one we have to go through this guy. If we go to here, we can probably get to... Okay, we can't get to that one even if we tried. Hmm. So these two might be a stretch, unless we throw down some prognosticars. So let's see. Eliminate all seed carriers as the pink ones here. Doesn't want us to use mastercrafted melee weapons, which kind of sucks, honestly. Uh, chance to get a tier 3 silencer, which would be pretty cool, and better equipment. That's fine and everything. Uh, eliminate all seed carriers. This is the blue ones we have to kill with melee weapons. Easy. 
Um, not a problem. I had six requisition out of this. Six requisition, and actually we can get a chaplain as well. That's pretty wild. And here, again, interceptor. I mean, pretty great equipment here. Tier 3 power armor. 15 servitors, and there's red. Okay, so this is all good for us. That's like all wild. Okay, where are our prognostic cars? So there's one there. Do we, we don't have any others put down yet, do we? No, we don't. I love that it doesn't show where our missions are. Okay, so it's that one. So if we do that, that will have an extra three days for us to get to it. Which sounds pretty good to me. So yeah, let's do that. Seems good to me. And what will be next? Put one there and one there? Then one here? And like a final one like there, maybe? I think that'll be most of them. I think that'll be most of the planets covered. Um, so let's put one there. And yeah, I'm sure. I am sure. Cool. So, we are going to go through this guy. Uh, how long before this is built? Uh, two more days. You know what? We might actually have the upgrade before we get there. Report. Unusual transmission received from Magos Explorator Yeltrix. Magos Dominus, our operations have been polluted by a particularly aggressive technophage. We have been forced to evacuate all of our excavation sites in this sector. This virus infects machine spirits, sparing imperfect biomatter. It seeks to pervert the Omnisire's holy archaeotech, and our Skitari regiments are poorly conditioned to resist it. Dominus, given your success recovering the venerable Dreadnought engine on Duronin, the Adeptus Mechanicus demands you purge this blight immediately. The Sacred Order of Grey Knights is not his to direct. Irrelevancy. Cost-benefit analysis supports intervention. The Priesthood of Mars will dedicate valuable resources to support our campaign. That settles it. Commander, you must see the value in supporting the Adeptus Mechanicus in their time of need. We both share this battlefield against the Bloom. I have marked the coordinates on the star map. Interesting. So I guess we get to them whenever we can, right? I just bumped Commander, into the ship, didn't we? Your men nope. have been away from the halls of Titan for too long, and I fear they risk losing touch with our traditions. The exigencies of a campaign can feel like they leave little space for diversions, but we must temper our bodies as well as our will. I suggest a brief suspension of operations to hold a series of contests of might and skill. A tournament to remind them of their heritage and renew their oaths. Exigencies indeed. Commander, we cannot be distracted by such trivialities. Well, this is ridiculous. Um... <sighs> Let's, uh... Bit great risk. Um... I will end up with some injuries. I, I'm not sure how many knights there will be and how injured they'll be. But I think I'm going to risk it because I think we can pick up extra perks and stuff for doing this and I think that'll be quite fun. Also, if we have a bunch of injuries, it means we'll have to make do with, a, with you know, like, not the optimal team, which I think will be quite exciting. So I'm going to hold a grand trial of strength. The bloom spreads as we speak. We have no time for such trifles. Short-term sacrifices can bring long-term gains, Inquisitor. Your brothers will rejoice at the challenge, Commander. <laughs> Alright, so we got high morale, so extra willpower for everyone. Ektar is uh, zealous, so we're getting extra XP growth rate. Research speed is down, but research speed is so high, I don't care. And uh, we've got a new talent for Lucan, who I guess won. And uh, uh, Lucan... Demerton, Mir, and Darig Thul all leveled up. Malchus, Storm, Cassian, and Han, well, Hale and Han, they're all injured. Uh, wounded and light wounded, which means I think we can still field everybody. Well, that's pretty fun. Okay, we're going to bump into that thing in a second. 
So what's up with this then? Sanctify atmospheric purifiers. God, there's so many missions here. Get some architect out of it, lowers corruption a bunch. This is really cool. Like this I love, the fact that we now have a bunch of other missions that we can get to. Um, and all of these are going to take, um, you know, be set up for dreadnoughts. Unfortunately, that's going to take time out of our day and we need to grab these ones that are on time limit um, first. So, you know, I was thinking we'd go up here and deal with this one. But I think this one is, yeah, this is the one we're definitely going to go for. So yeah, we're going to go for this one, then that one. And we're going to go past the spaceship. <laughs> the gun battery's got done just in time. So the weapon systems are slowly coming back online. The machine spirits had been misaligned since our encounter with the Cadium, and they proved vexing to recalibrate. My thralls went through all the 3,027 apparatus, uh, cans to coax them back into their proper positions. We shouldn't engage any battle barges. Oops. But the edict is defended once again. Alright, let's keep upgrading, shall we? Uh, we can also do construction speed. Maybe... It's going to take 20 servitors. Yeah, no point. That'll be all of our servitors, so... Who cares about doing stuff quicker when you can't afford to do anything anyway? Uh, so, gun battery next. Going to keep going on with this. It's going to be great. We are really well kitted out. I don't think I've ever had a campaign where I've gotten so many servitors. Death Guard encountered. Enemy ship has manifested short-range tendril mutations. Contact in three, two, one. Impact. Our void shields have completely disintegrated. Alert. Tendril weapons have latched to the apothecarium. Critical breach imminent. Throne. We must act now, Commander. Those tentacles are mutations derived by the bloom. I hate to suggest this, but if we vent some of our seeds into space, they may be distracted by their psychic resonance. The edict must be protected. Hmm. Well, yes, I, I, I know. You, Commander. The higher the enemy's gun battery level compared to our own, the more hull damage was sustained from direct ship-to-ship -ship combat. State your orders. Um, I mean, open fire, like, we do have better gun battery than them. Accelerating, we have the best... Uh, speed right now, but I'm not sure that necessarily matters. Or we can lose four seeds and the ship may be at risk. Uh, we're going to open fire. Firing on target. Uh, Tau Malchus. Oh, they, uh, we lost hull integrity. The Apothecarian got damaged. Tau Malchus got wounded. Our wound recovery rate has gone down and, and Voldred Storm was critically wounded. Well, damn. Enemy cruiser got destroyed, though. The Edith cries out for repair. Oh, shush. So, yeah, that was a bad move. Uh, apparently just having, like, one extra gun battery compared to them wasn't that great. Uh, so, do I want to ditch this upgrade so I can get this done quicker? Oh, I think I might have to, which is annoying. I mean, it costs us a few services to do that, but this feels like a priority to me. So, I'm going to ditch him. I know, it's a it's a shame. So we lost eight servitors from the switch, which I know it hurts. But we do need to get people uh, up and running again. Also, uh, so I forget how this works. So he's critically wounded. What the hell does that mean? Because <laughs> uh, uh, doesn't he get... Um, oh, wow, he's actually max level. So yeah, he has resilience. But, like, which is resilience? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I forget. I forget how this works. I feel like critical wounds get you in a position where you can actually augment their ability slightly. But it could be because I've never bothered to upgrade. Um, uh, uh, oh, is it in the apothecary? So we need to fix that first. But yeah, there's other stuff to do, which I never bother with because I never get critically wounded. Um, but yeah, fine. Bloom Seed Purification Mortis. I have been studying how the Bloom Mortis propagates so quickly despite its lethality. The answer is fear. A metaphysical disease has many vectors, and the Mortis strain is transmitted through the terror that spreads from victim to victim. Yet while the plague exploits fear, we shall bestow resolve. Use the Mortis uh, Seeds Ash to fortify your night spirits. After all, you know no fear. True that. Alright, get on to the next one then. 
purple are we? Uh, let's do that. Let's spend some of the green ones. We have so many. Okay, good. Finally. Okay, good. So, uh, without mastercrafted melee weapons, very annoying. Very, very annoying. I kind of hate that. But we're against pretty simple stuff, right? So we got uh, some plague ridden. A fitted blight halls, a fitted bloat drones. So, um, hang on a minute. Fitted bloat drones. Those are the flying ones. We hadn't seen those yet. Oh, that's fun. But it's okay. We have Thul, so everything will die. Or do we have Thul? We probably have Thul. I think everyone's fine. Yeah. We're good. Probably. Maybe. God, critically wounded. 56 days. Our best boy. Our best boy. And yeah, we want the requisition, so let's do all of that. And hang on, does Crow count as having a master crafted weapon? Because we can't actually equip him with anything. Hans leveled up. What were you going to go for? I can't remember. We're we going for this stuff. So we can get seeds just from a standard melee attack. Oh, also, yeah, the melee attacks gain plus three crit damage, which is bonkers. And crits gain him AP. That's what we're going to go with. I like it. I like it a lot. That'll do. That'll do. And you were going to do something. Huh. Was it war gear slots for grenades? Maybe. Oh, extra autos. That's a really good one. Extra autos are great. So we'll do that. And then our final level up, I suppose, will be that and that. The extra airy is good for stun, uh, stun grenades. Return fire, is, you know, it exists. I just don't think that's ever going to be worthwhile. We just never get shot at. Uh, so storm, I need to swap out. Uh, hail got a level up. Still think he sucks, though. Uh, we haven't put our librarian out yet. And this is a simple mission. So I might take the opportunity to throw out uh, Cadrius. Cadrius. Okay, let's go with yeah the extra armor and willpower. And Warp Surge won't go up. Perfect. Oh, and it's actually a um, paladin uh, thingamajig. I mean, librarians have this, too could actually be librarian armor it does give him the extra willpower so maybe this is librarian armor and i'm just being silly um but paladins for the gray knights all have a little book up top so all gear slot let's give you do you want to give him the disruptor skulls maybe or you give him sacred incense for the extra willpower i think even the broad Crit stuff is nice though. But disruptor skulls are very handy. I'll give him one of those. Okay, so melee weapon. Obviously, he's got warding stave. I could give him uh, strife breaker so he has the better one. The extra willpower is really nice. And can we upgrade to stuff? We can. So I think I will. I know it's using a lot of these seeds, but. It's nice to have that upgraded, because we do use that a lot. Okay. Uh, oh. Can't use that now, obviously. Not on this mission. So, ranged weapon. Give him a better storm bolter. Could give him eternal wrath. Um. Feel like we should give him something a little less exciting, though. Oh, I don't know. We'll give him any old nonsense. Give him that. Extra ammo sounds good. So we're going to upgrade that. We don't have any of the red seeds yet. Really going to run low on these. Ah, I'm doing it. Alright, so you can have that. Next up, you need to get rid of your decent Narthesium. Which is a bit sad. But you do have a fairly good Storm Boulder, right? You got this one. Yeah, so five damage. It's good. And yeah, okay. 
get a crow, even though he has this demon sword, that's not a problem. It wasn't master crafted, it was demon crafted. So that's nice. Ah, oh, good news. And yeah, you've got Titan's Roar, so you're good. But... Armor types, power armor. Uh, oh no, I can't upgrade that yet, can I? Oh, we really need three more of that. Because the extra passive equipment slot for him would be amazing. To get extra crit damage. Yeah, actually, hang on. This thing... Oh, that's only for melee attacks. Sadly. So yeah, we want to put that armor on them. Onto Storm. Eventually. So okay, never mind. But no, that's good though. Oh yeah, because the crit damage is the helmet, I think. It's like a visor thing. It's like a like an eyepiece targeting computer or something. Um, Alright, so this is a weird gang. It's weird in that we don't have a interceptor, which is super weird for me. It's very odd. Also, what abilities do we even have? Warp suppression. He's got duelist as his talent. Oh, he can he can give he has plus ten afflict chance for melee weapons. That's interesting. Weird. Uh, once per combat, when critically wounded, knight will recover and return to combat after three turns. Cool. He has gate of infinity. What? He starts with gate of infinity at level one. Well, that's good. That's, that's pretty good. I like that. And I'm pretty sure... I'm not certain, actually, but I think if you use Gate of Infinity from your character, because it's got a willpower cost, I don't think it costs you AP, like the stratagem does. But I might be talking nonsense. But that's very cool. Oh, so, okay, as standard, only teleports himself. That's just teleport, then. Okay, fine. Um, or you can activate teleport all nights to the same location. It's pretty cool. Extra range on that, too. Yeah, okay, he's got some cool stuff. Uh, we do need to get him some, like, crazy stuff, like Vortex of Doom and Smite. So I want this stuff. I want to be able to just, like, blast people. Uh, warp Surges. Imperium Domination reduces Warp Surge. I mean, that's fine. It's not a big deal. This helps his Storm Bolters out to so get extra crit damage. And given the fact that he's got a, a Storm Bolter that has a bunch of extra crit stuff, that could actually be really quite fun. Um, we could even give him the extra crit chance um, items. So this guy could be a, a ranged guy, basically. Extra focus as well for autos is really nice. That gives him higher chances of his um, staff actually giving him, uh, actually triggering the Aegis, which is very cool. Sanctuary is quite nice. Just gives a bunch of extra armor to people. And then return this knight has 25% chance to activate their Aegis shield automatically. I don't know if that means you can potentially activate it twice. God, there's a lot of stuff here that's very good. I haven't used I haven't used a uh, librarian in ages. That's very exciting. Very exciting. Alright, so I think we're done then. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.